All right. Hi, everyone. And thank you once again for joining us on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco. And today with me, I have Wendy Norfleet. Dr. Wendy Norfleet is the CEO and founder of Norfleet Integrated Solutions, where they specialize in working with clients to provide strategic solutions that include training and development, executive coaching, and business consulting. Wendy is a published author and holds life coach, leadership development, and career development certifications. Wendy, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Michael. Awesome. So let's just dive right in here, Wendy. Question number one, why did you become a coach? Well, this is probably my third or fourth career. And when I decided to start and step out on my own, I really took the components that I love doing and coaching being one of them. And that's kind of what I decided to do or services I decided to offer. I was uh, Dean of a college, interim campus president. I was director of IT for a global company. And so in those positions, I've always coached and developed my staff. And mm -hmm. so it just seemed like a natural fit when I wanted to go out there. And that was the part I loved is working with people, seeing them grow and seeing him, them become more successful. Yeah, great. I think if this is my third, fourth, or fifth career is uh, a common answer to that question. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Older, to... you, you kind of figure out what you love doing and that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, you roll with the punches and, and make, make adjustments to your course as needed. Question number two, what are you doing in your coaching business today that's unique? I think we're doing a couple things. As you mentioned, I started off executive coaching and I still do a fair amount of that, but I, I found that I get more joy out of that, even working with some entry level that they know kind of where they want to go, but they're not sure how to get there. And those are a lot of fun because they're yeah. a little varied. Everyone doesn't need, it's not a one size fits all, which is I think what's unique in our coaching business. We don't have this like palette of things that we offer and we make you fit into the whole. So really we have a lot of capabilities and we tailor each package to the individual. Mm -hmm. And so I think in that case, it's really unique. Whereas a lot of people don't have the time to do that. We do. And so we've gotten really great reviews on that, that, you know, this was just so personalized and it was exactly what I needed. They didn't spend hours trying to get me to do other stuff. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. So tailored kind of custom tailored prescriptions for your clients. Right. So you and we, that's one of the things that we specialize, regardless of which vertical, either training and development, coaching, or business consulting, is that we customize our solutions for each client. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, I'm moving on to question number three. How do you find your clients? Believe it or not, all the clients I've had have been either, so a past client has referred them, I speak a lot at conferences and other uh, through other um, organizations and they've heard me speak and they make an inquiry. We give complimentary consultations. Mm -hmm. And so for that, I'm really grateful. Mm -hmm. I haven't had to do a, you know, a hard sell or anything for my coaching clients whatsoever. That's great. That's great. I do believe it. <laughs> Good stuff. Question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? I think my challenge and I'm, I'm, I think I'm finally getting over it. But when we, when I hung my shingle out, I guess I wasn't expecting such an immediate response. And so before I could even kind of gather my wits and kind of figure out and put some additional processes in place, I was already booked. And so therefore, and, and a lot of it was face to face. And so of course, when the pandemic hit, I had to kind of figure out, and I didn't have those things in place already to immediately go virtual. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always used Zoom and some other things, but I didn't really have it set up the way I wanted it. And so it took me a couple of months to kind of pivot and to kind of shift everything. But I think we're in a very good place. We still do some. Now people are coming back. We do some face-to-face. -face. Um, I have some clients don't want to do virtual. And so it was mm -hmm. hard to move some of them virtual and some of them just pause until they can meet again. Mm -hmm. um, so I think um, just being a little bit more flexible, having more ways to offer the services will probably be the biggest thing. It, it's, it hurt me that, you know, the pandemic, but it helped me too. It helped me turn inward and kind of find hone my processes. I like that. Yeah. That's also a common response. I think to that question is that, you know, the pandemic was, was dealt the good out and the bad as well as the bad. Right. Well, from every bad thing, there's usually some good. So 
All right, question number five. If you had, and this maybe roll back into question number four, if you had a do-over in your coaching business, what would that be? I think I would have looked for more strategic partnerships earlier. I think, and that's one of the things when I, you know, I'm doing a little bit of business coaching right now. And I think that's one of the things that I have been talking to people about that, you know, you need to get those partnerships earlier. There's some things that I could have done a lot faster if I had realized, hey, I don't need to do this all on my own. You know, I can go and grab this chunk over here and this over here and we can all get together and we can create something really wonderful. And so I would have done that a lot earlier if in my career, I wish I would have done it earlier. I love it. I love it. All right, Wendy, I've got a bonus question for you. This one you're unprepared for. You ready? Mm -hmm. What is, what is one book that you would recommend all of your clients read? All right. I'm going to be, do a selfish plug. I'm going to recommend my book (laughs) and leading without the title, a blueprint to growing into leadership. And I have another one coming out, but I think this one it touches on everything that everyone needs. It's not necessarily for the person that's already achieved leadership. It can even be used if you're preparing for leadership and you're trying to make sure that you have a solid foundation. So it talks about, you know, communication and understanding, you know, we all have, we all listen through different hazes or different noise. And mm-hmm. so it talks about that and being careful to make sure you understand what's being said and not and in making your own inferences. And so I think it's just a good, it's a short book. It's a lot of information. I give examples of actually real life situations that happened. And so I think that is a really good book for awesome. people. And where can our, where can our listeners get that book? It's on Amazon paperback and an ebook. Awesome. Fantastic. Wendy, is there anything else that you would like to pitch or promote while we're on here? And also where can people connect with you online? People can connect with me. I'm on LinkedIn, I'm Wendy Norfleet. Also, we can go connect through our company, Norfleet Integrated Solutions. And our website is norfleetsolutions.com. Wonderful. And I think what I would like to add is that I think people don't assume you don't need coaching. I, a lot of people I meet, they'll, they'll, they'll reach out to me for the consultation, but they'll say, well, I don't really need coaching. I just need someone to tell me how to do this, this, and this. So it's like, and and I try to tell people that people can tell you what to do, but until you internalize it, where you, you start knowing what to do, that's maybe when you don't need coaching. Does that make sense? And so I I try to address that with people is when you, when you need that handhold, you probably need coaching. My response to that quite frequently is if, if, if Michael Jordan and LeBron James have a coach, you you could have a coach too. (laughs) You'd do all right to have a coach. (laughs) Right. I have a coach. Do you have a coach? Yes, I do. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I've got, I've got two. So that's great. Awesome. Wendy Norfleet, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Coffee with Coaches podcast. And thank you to our audience for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Thanks, Michael.